Hello and welcome to a Python class tutorial. Um, the reason I'm doing this tutorial is because when I was trying to learn classes myself, I couldn't find any really good um, tutorials on YouTube that explained what a class did um, and basically what it was. So here I'm just, after learning it, I'm, I've decided to do my own. Anyway, here we'll see that I've already written out a class. I've already uh, made an instance of this class and then I've done some of this so that you guys can see exactly what it does. And I'll just walk you through it. So basically, in Python, when we're um, making a class, we use the class keyword, and then we name the class. So here I've just named it human. These variables up here, they're usually before any functions in the class, which are called methods. So basically, a function in a class is just called a method of that class. Um, but anyway, these variables up here are called properties of the class. So just like functions are called methods, variables are called properties. Now here we see that we've set the height of this human class equal to 180, we've set the weight equal to 80, and we've set the eye color equal to blue. Um, essentially, once, once we get down here to the first method, this is a special method, it's called uh, underscore underscore init underscore underscore, and this init I think stands for something like initialization or something else along those lines. Um, and one important thing to note when you're working with classes is that every time you make a method, you need to call this self um, argument. And basically what self is, is that's just referring to the class itself. So um, this will make more sense once we get to what these, uh, what these lines here actually do. But anyway, this init function is called every single time that you make an instance of this class. So down here, we see Bob is human, and then we've set this, uh, we've put in this argument for the class. Basically what this is, is Bob is an instance of this human class. So just to bring this into real life, it might be easier easier to understand. Every human has a set of characteristics that um, are just inherent. So like every every human has a weight, every human has a height, every human has an eye color. And that's basically what these properties um, are meant to do up here. They're just it kind of initializing the properties of a human. So and then we have specific humans. So that's just an outline for what a, a human is in general. And then once we get down here, we're actually making a specific human. So here Bob is is an instance of a human, right? So now once we get down here to this init function, like I said, this is called every single time that we make an instance of this of this class up here. And basically you pass in the self and we've also passed a name, which is an optional argument that I've just decided to um, kind of set in. And basically what we've done is we've said self.name. So essentially what self.name does is it goes up here and it just makes a new variable called name. And now we're just waiting to see what this is equal to, right? So we do self.name equals name. So what we've done, this will make, uh, this, this is connected to this line here because essentially what we've done is we've called human. We've, we've made an instance of the human class. And then as you'll see up here, the init function, which, which runs every time we make, this, we make an instance, requires this other argument here, which is called name. So self, you don't have to pass anything in for self. That's just something that you, you, you have to put in by default when you're making methods. But this second argument here, name, uh, we need to actually pass in something for that when we're making an instance of the human class. So here we've, we've uh, made an instance, and then we've set in Bob as this name argument for the initialization function. <clears throat> so what this does here is goes in, makes a new property called name, and it sets it equal to whatever argument we passed in. So here we set we passed in Bob. So basically what this does is it goes up here, and it sets this equal. Oops, and it sets this equal to Bob. And of course, that's just for that specific instance. It doesn't actually apply to all of the other instances. So here we could do go down here and make a new one called Susie and make this human Susie. And this would just make a new, um, new class, a new instance of that class. And the name for this one would be Susie. So this also, this initialization function, it also goes in and changes the height property from 180 to 175. And uh, we've made a few more methods here. So the first one we have is the work method. And just this just prints I am working. And then we also have a sleep method, which just prints I'm trying to sleep. So now once we go down here, as you'll see, I've already written these um, <clears throat> executions out. And we're just going to print Bob's height. So we do bob.height, the instance name, dot height. And that'll just print whatever this is equal to, whatever the height property of this class is equal to. And we see down here, if we run this one more time, we see down here that it's equal to 175. And the reason it's equal to 175 and not 180 is because if you remember in our initialization function, we actually changed the height property of this class to 175. 
um, and then we just do bob.icolor so it goes and uh, sees what the eye color for bob is and that's blue because we didn't change it and we set it as blue to start with um, and then we do bob.work so we, we're calling a method here bob.work and just that just prints i am working and we have that here and the same thing with uh, bob.sleep that's just another method here and it prints i'm trying to sleep um, so like i said this class i think the the key takeaway here is that a class is not actually a specific human. It's just the basic outline for a human. We, we haven't actually made um, any specific person yet. We're just kind of describing or initializing what a human would be. We're just outlining what the starting values are for any human. Um, <clears throat> and then once we get down here, we're actually making a specific human using this kind of guidebook or this this outline that we've set out. And we're actually making a specific human named Bob, passing in Bob, setting the self.name equal to Bob, and um, and then we can access the different characteristics for Bob. But we could have just as easily made a different one called Susie or Jen or whatever and just passed in different things um, and gotten different results out here.